idea they actually half an hour to design the DAO, 10 minutes to present, 10 minutes to have a closing conversation. Okay. Is, that, is that okay? So now, now a little bit of a rush.
In this case, you say, put in some money that we could actually act as a patron. And then if the money is put in and then you convert it into a stable coin so that you don't have the fluctuations, then you could, while the money is sitting there, you could actually put it into some place like compound to a generating interest. And that it's, in a sense, it's kind of working as an endowment. It's a certain amount of money that continues to grow. And then people, if they need to pull money out, they can. Now, the incentive for you to remain a participant in the system is that for every year you participate, the cost for you to be able to participate goes down, right? So it goes down by 10% for every year you participate. So the first year that you participate, it's one beat. If you don't pull anything out, whatever, it's great. But the next, but you can pull up out, uh, as much as 10 beat, okay, from the one that you put in. Then um, it, the next year when you need to put in money, it's, you only have to put in 0.9 ETH, but you can still pull out the 10 ETH equivalent. Right? So across time, there's an incentive for you to hang around for 10 years and participate in this. You have the room for the, the larger patrons to be there as benefactors. Um, and then of course you have the, the social mechanism of you knowing this person needs, they broke their arm, <laughs> and you're like, I'm comfortable with them pulling the money out. Um, and then voting and allowing them for yeah, voting. So we're saying maybe one of these is give reputation if you're doing, uh, you get better reputation if those claims are for preventive health measures. Yeah. So if you're taking a flu shot, you might get better. Because uh, you actually want, the way it works in the long run, you get much better outcomes if everyone focuses on preventive health care. Preventive health care rather than always just consumption health care. Okay. Um, That's so great. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. So. Can I have the canvas so I can document yeah. it? Yeah, sure. And if you guys can get the go while I'm just taking a picture real quick. even though solar has probably been something very predictable, very stable returns, they always require some sort of collateral, like fixed deposit, or your car, or your property, okay, to back it up. That is why a lot of these um, problems are not being solved. A lot of people are not installing solar. So, we are proposing to create um, a renewable energy fund, okay, managed by a DAO. Essentially, we collect funds from uh, investors, 
put it into the fund which is managed by the DAO, and then we give up these uh, micro loans to the, uh, anybody in the world who wants to install solar panels. And the fund uh, performance is dependent okay, on how well the fund managers in the DAO select and give up those micro loans and capitalize on the government incentives that are available throughout the world. Next. Oh, you have these. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's one last one. So the user experience is very, very simple. Okay. Um, investors make money, okay, because they have uh, a, a new vehicle to invest in, um, where and earn the interest. So imagine and the the house owners okay get access to credit to loans because the banks don't give it. The opportunity here is a win-win-win for everyone because we get to earn, okay, so imagine if, let's say, for example, you're getting a, a, a loan. Instead of putting out 100% and saving 100% of energy, what if, because of this solution, instead of saving 100%, you save 5% of your energy bills and 95% of whatever you save goes to repay the loan plus interest. So we make money, you save energy, Okay, and the DAO is there to ensure that the trust is not breached. So that's basically the Empower Renewable Energy DAO. Awesome. Awesome. Maybe there's a, an Aragon party that we can pitch your DICO idea if you win, you get like 500 DAI, blah, blah, blah. No, I did not do that. It's too bad. It's called Dream DICO. DICO Dream. Mm -hmm. Today. Okay. Go there. 500 DAI. Wow. That there's cool. other, there's, you get and there's other prizes you can get. There's like uh, uh, first place, second place. All right. Yeah, yeah. some kickbacks. Like what drink? Uh, sorry, guys, I'm, I'm oh. chilling Aragon for a moment. It's okay, everybody knows everybody. No, I'm just telling the camera because my bosses are going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, let's have a quick discussion of how it was the experience. Give me some feedback on the canvas. What you wish was better? What would you wish would change? And then we can call it a day. I think a lot crystallized when you actually showed us your DAO and some of the infrastructure and like went through a sample voting mechanism. Do you wish that would come first? Yeah, I think that would be helpful. But I think my bias is to create the need yeah. and help people operate under a certain amount of uncertainty and then throw the, the water, you know? Mm -hmm. Let you walk through the desert yeah. a little bit. Get a little thirsty. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I was here, you just vote, and here's the whole different system. Yeah, but money. you have no reason to actually decay. Yeah. There's a lot of chicken egg problems. Oh, here it is. Don't want to lose this. So we don't, have, we don't have to go in a circle like everybody speaks, or we can if you guys want. Um, but I would like to know like what what was that open what what are the possibilities in your mind and life that have opened up now that you have looked at the canvas? Was there any misconception that you had about DAOs that was rearranged? Um, I don't know. No, I I, say I, just like, I like it it's a lot of, it's in the past couple of years in a way from the ninety a lot of work in the format on how to Mm -hmm. So, a few years ago, just like an online slate, now we have like, hey, here's what a constitution looks like. Here's a Senate and a House of Representatives and a judicial branch. So, but you think also we're drawing parallels to existing systems, yeah. right? And if you think about it, a lot of people were using analogies. Um, you know, like think about the explanation I was giving, it was an analogy, you used an analogy, and the other individual was like, well, you, you elect members of Congress and here's what they do. I think actually having a place in here for, is there an analogous system in being used in some other thing that people are familiar with that could help us to wrap our brain around it? Because in the end, there's only certain ways that we can organize and there might be other forms. So I think maybe even adding a field to this and saying, is there another example outside of where you're trying to do this where people could kind of intellectually latch mm -hmm. onto it would be helpful? I can I can I can think of a few fields where you oh, okay. can put it there. Um, like maybe even the goal field, like ah, oh, this is a Dao center. You just write the Dao center. Make that metaphor fix, yeah. 
Okay. Is there a room for analogies or metaphors or something? Like for sure, we always use them. Um, I guess that's it. Like, uh, thank you guys for coming. Uh, thank you for putting up with a large uh, uh, check-in around where we really talk about who we are and stuff. Keep that thing, type of stuff super important, even if it eats away at the co-creation time. Mm -hmm. um, my, my bias that I like to see in the blockchain space is that the intelligence is in the audience more, more often than not. And we go to these conferences and we watch these panels with like three brains on stage, but the 500 brains in the room are where the magic is at. And that's why we doubt shit, right? So I, it's super important for me to know who's in the room with me, what experiences you carry, what are the pains you're sort of coming from. This, this is, I, I think, where the magic comes from. And that's what's behind also making as many DAO fests as I can. So if you have a desire um, to organize any sized event around DAOs at your location, uh, please reach out. Let's make a DAO fest happen. Let's put you in the fest DAO. And my telegram is elementary complexity. It's all together, all small. And I'd love to be connected to you guys. You're already. Yeah. So thanks for coming at 9 a.m.